Free the Beat is like a clearinghouse name for me and John to organize and uh, release our music under. Uh, for example, if John releases an album or if I release a single or if together we uh, release some sort of compilation or video, uh, it will be released as a product of Free the Beat LLC. Um, this is a need because independently John and I have never really been able to lift ourselves off the ground um, as recording artists, um, at least not to a level that we would have hoped. Um, so our idea is trying something new, this Free the Beat LLC, um, associating ourselves and our work and our collaborations under that name um, and hope to get some more exposure, um, more exposure than we ever could have gotten alone. The world needs Free the Beat uh, because it's music and the demand for music never goes away. Um, the world's not going to wake up tomorrow and decide suddenly to stop listening to music. So the demand is constantly there every minute of every day. In fact, people are using music more than they ever have. They're using it for their ringtones, for their collar tunes, you know, for everything because it's more accessible to them. Everything is more publicly um, accessible. So people are using it in, in more ways than we ever could have imagined. So John and I have just decided to become a part of that demand. Uh, we've decided to take the way that we bring our art to the world more seriously, more professionally. Um, so hopefully we can get um, a, more of an advantage in supplying that demand for um, our communities and, you know, the world. Free the Beat will be successful because it is enlightening, creative, inspiring music, um, because it is made by two producers, not one, and because these two producers, John and I, will be collaborating with each other, me in Atlanta, John in Seattle, We'll also be collaborating with people in our community. I will not just be working with me. It'll be me and some, you know, bassist or even a band a singer. Um, and John will be doing the same thing. This is a good advantage um, because we're going to be reaching more audiences, um, more people, more audiences, a bigger audience, and a broader audience, uh, two cities apart, way apart. So I'll be in the southeast, John will be in the northwest. So this, I think, is a good competitive advantage in getting, getting a listening community, a big listening community. One of the challenges is also one of our advantages. Like I said, John will be in the north or west, and I'll be in the southeast of the country. Um, while that allows us to have a bigger audience, um, it also might make the working relationship that we have a little bit more difficult. However, John and I in our working relationships and in our friendships have always somewhat been apart. Um, this won't be the first time that we've lived and collaborated apart from each other. So I don't think that it'll be something that we're um, unable to do, but it will be a challenge um, because uh, we'll be leading very different lives in two different parts of the country. But I'm I think that it is more of an advantage than it is a weakness. Another weakness will be uh, trying to get the collaborators on board. Um, I know that it may be easy to just get them to uh, play with us, to make music together um, in the same community, but it might be difficult to get them to sign up for anything that's associated with this, you know, this name, Free the Beat. Um, but I think that if I present anything to them or if John presents anything to our collaborators with excitement and with conviction, I don't think that it's going to be that much of a weakness. So I think our most important next step is establishing the name once and for all, um, getting the DBA and getting that filed as, as formally as we can. Another next step is going to be our New Year's single. We're going to We've released a Halloween album together and as Free the Beat, so now we need to release a single for um, the new year coming up. One of the most important next steps is really affirming ourselves in our community. Now, I just moved to Atlanta and John is yet to move to Seattle, but we really need to hit the ground running when it comes to making those communal connections because that's going to be primarily what our, a big part of our success is based on. All right. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, thank you, Tiffany, for the wonderful course in social entrepreneurship. It has been a wonderful learning experience. 
It is a lot of work to formalize your idea for a business in the arts, but it has been worth it, and I appreciate every minute of it. Thank you very much, and I hope everyone has a wonderful and successful new year. Thank you.